I'm Dr. Donovan from the dispensaryonline.com. I'm here to talk to you today about carotenoids or carotenes, of which beta carotene is only one of many, many carotenoids. So I'm not talking about beta carotene by itself. Please understand that. We're talking about the mixture of various carotenoids. There are many, many carotenoids. As a matter of fact, much of the yellow, orange, and red hues in our natural environment, in plants, um, come from the carotenoid family. The orange in carrots is a classic for uh, uh, carotenoids. Now, why are carotenoids so valuable? One, carotenoids are precursors to vitamin A in our system. We cannot take a toxic dose of carotenoids. However, we can take a toxic dose of vitamin A. So I like to use carotenoids. Uh, they're more natural, they're more common, they're commonly what we've been associated uh, with evolutionarily in our diet, and they're not toxic. Carotenes make or, or are the precursors of vitamin A. Once you get a level of vitamin A made in your body, there is a feedback mechanism that feeds back to tell your body, I don't need any more vitamin A. So just store those carotenoids because we have enough vitamin A. So your body will not allow you to become vitamin A toxic by taking too much carotenes. So I, I, can't, I can't express that enough because I run into it commonly in my office over the years. Some doctor will call me and say, you're giving my patient too much vitamin A. No, I'm not. I'm giving carotenoids. That's vitamin A. No, it's not vitamin A. It's a precursor to vitamin A and you cannot take toxic doses of it. However, you can turn a little yellow-orange by taking too high of a dose of carotenoids. That is not a bad thing. It's actually quite protective. Now, here's how carotenes work. Carotenes are some of the most uh, abundant and strongest antioxidants in the natural world and in our diets. Carotenes are effective antioxidants and as such are very effective anti-cancer compounds. For instance, lycopenes, which are one of the species of carotenoids, is very, very potent anti-cancer agent in prostate gland for men and some evidence in breast cancer, very protective. Uh, lutein is a, another species of carotenoid which is very, very important in the uh, retina of the eye and protects the eye from retinal degeneration, can even effectively treat early retinal degeneration. Um, so these carotenoids have strong anti-cancer effects and antioxidant effects in the body in many different organs. Also, carotenes have been shown to be very important in fertility, in animal uh, I should say in husbandry. In husbandry, for 50, 60 years, we knew the value of increasing carotenoids in the diets of cows to improve their fertility. It's one of my secrets with patients who are dealing with infertility problems, giving high-dose carotenoids to women who um, have been checked <clears throat> and screened for any other medical problems and don't have any specific medical problem causing their infertility we will give high-dose carotenoids, and uh, it's been quite successful. Carotene, carotenoids also play a major role in primate longevity. There have been studies uh, in mammals and primates showing that one of the key factors for longevity is the intake or quantity of uh, intake of carotenoids in our diet, meaning more carotenoids in the diet the greater the longevity. So it becomes an important anti-aging and longevity factor. Carotenoids are important in the prevention of numerous cancers, as I said, colon and rectal specifically, breast and prostate, but skin cancers as well. Carotenoids reduce burning, and when you have enough carotenes built up in the skin so that you're a little yellow-orange in the summertime, you're less likely to have problems from exposure to the sun. Uh, and high-dose carotenoids also can help to prevent various skin cancers. There's clear evidence of that. In patients with lupus, 
who are known to have photosensitivity dermatitis. So a dermatitis, a reaction in the skin due to the UV light exposure from sun. When we give high dose carotenoids to them, they are less likely to have those reactions. And there are some uh, clinical studies that go as far back as the mid to late 1980s demonstrating that in lupus patients. Um, in patients with chronic bronchitis um, and allergic bronchitis, we will use in this office high dose carotenoids as well to protect the lungs. As a matter of fact, in an acute bronchitis case, uh, we will commonly give very high doses for about a week of uh, carotenoids in the form of a product called Betaplex, which is a liquid mixture of carotenes, natural compound, no additives in it. And we will give high doses up to maybe 200,000 IUs of carotenoids a day for maybe five to ten days. And you'll see the bronchitis just resolve within you know, two or three days of doing that. Um, so it improves antiviral activity as well in the body. There are some good studies demonstrating the antiviral capability of carotenoids. Now, there is some evidence. I'm sure somebody's going to hear this video and go, he didn't talk about the relationship between beta carotene and lung cancer. There was a study done on lung cancer and it was done on smokers. Those smokers who continued to smoke uh, were at greater risk for developing lung cancer if they were taking beta carotene. One, the, it was beta carotene alone, not a mixture of carotenoids. Two, it was a synthetic carotenoid which works differently in the system and has a tendency to produce more oxidation damage when it becomes oxidized in the system, as opposed to the natural uh, uh, beta-carotene. So they used a synthetic beta-carotene that produces more oxidation damage, and when you smoke, you're producing lots of oxidation. So that's the piece that isn't talked about when some doctors or some researchers will say beta-carotene causes lung cancer. No, it doesn't cause lung cancer. What the real truth about that is, is that synthetic beta-carotene alone, with no other carotenoid compounds, given over a long term to smokers, will increase their risk and potential for developing lung cancer. That is the truth to that information. So, please don't become concerned. I am aware of that. And we're not recommending um, a synthetic beta-carotene. We're recommending a complex of carotenoids and reminding you of the immense value that carotenes have for longevity, for health, as an antioxidant, as an antiviral in your system. Thank you.